but there's an awful lot more to medicine, health, well-being, happiness, etc., within quote-unquote Asian medicine. But we actually use things about the person's spirit to determine what's going on even in the body and vice versa. People's speech patterns, they're Asian. But the idea is nature is constantly in the things of Taoism, right? Things are likened to mountains, they're likened to the sun. The idea of whether it's your laughing yoga, whether it's just at a traffic light, whether it's when you're waiting for the elevator, a few times a day, just stop everything, release the chest and take just some nice, deep, clean breaths. Obviously, ocean air, a relaxed attitude. The one central ism that per pervades all of Asian thought, medicine or else, that has to do with happiness. The happiness part of health, right, is letting go of expectations. <laughs> This is also hugely important. Activity, another one of these, the difference between Eastern and Western. Activity must be balanced with quiet and non-doing variety. <laughs> so not just proteins, vegetables, fruits, grains, seeds, nuts, sprouts. And then within each of those categories, you need variety. Because another, a certain component of joy is who am I, what's my life purpose? Am I on track with that? Is there some sense of, you know, me being satisfied?